Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about CNF. The full form of CNF is Chomsky Normal Form. A context-free grammar is in Chomsky Normal Form or in CNF if its productions are of the form A derives A or A derives BC. It means a grammar is in Chomsky Normal Form if its productions have either a single terminal on their right hand side or they have two variables in their right hand side. For example, there is a grammar whose productions are given here. S derives AB, A derives BS or A derives A, B derives SA and B derives B. Now, these are the productions of some grammar. Now see, in these all productions, right, the productions has either a single terminal in the, its right hand side or only two variables in its right hand side, right. So it means the grammar whose productions are these is in Chomsky normal form. Now suppose if there is a grammar G without empty productions, then this grammar G can be converted into Chomsky normal form without affecting its language. Now suppose there is a grammar G defined by a quadruple VTPS where V is the set of variables, T is the set of terminals, P is the set of productions and S is the start symbol. This grammar G doesn't have any empty production. Now what we have to do? We have to convert this grammar G into Chomsky normal form. So how we can convert it into Chomsky normal form without affecting the language of this grammar G. First of all, we will remove all unit productions from this grammar G. Now, how we can remove unit productions? This thing I have explained in previous tutorials. Now, after, now, after removing all unit productions from grammar G, what we have to do? We have to find the productions which are not in Chomsky normal form. Now the productions which are not in Chomsky normal form after removing all unit productions, they all will have a string of two or more than two symbols in their right hand side. Right. Now what we have to do now? Now suppose there is a production A derives alpha which is not in Chomsky normal form. Here, alpha will be a string of two or more than two symbols, right? Now what we have to do here, if there is uh, any terminal A in this string alpha, replace it by variable XA and add a production xa derives terminal a and add this variable xa to set v right v is the set of variables of grammar g now see for example after removing unit productions from grammar g we have a production a derives BA. Now this production is not in Chomsky normal form. So what will we do? We will replace the terminal B by XB, terminal A by XA. So we have got a new production. A derives XB, XA. And we will add other two productions also xb derives b xa derives a 
and we will add these two new variables xb and xa to the set p. We will add these two variables xp and xa to set p. And this production a derives terminal b a will be removed from the grammar g. Now see in another example. Suppose this is a production A derives B A C B in grammar G which is not in CNF. Right. Now what we have to do remove this terminal B by variable XB. Remove this terminal C by XC. Right. So we have got a new production A derives XP A XC B. Now remove this production A derives B A C B. Add these variables XB and XC to the set of variables of grammar that is V. Right. And add two new productions XP derives B XC derives C right now after this after performing this step again check the productions which are not in CNF now the productions which are not in CNF now after performing this second step they will have a string of more than two variables in their right hand side right now what we have to do suppose there is a production a derives x1 x2 x3 up to xn right where x1 x2 x3 x4 up to xn are all variables right now this is a production having a string of more than two variables in its right hand side so it is not in cnf right so what will we do we will add new n minus two variables in set p because here in this production a derives x1 x2 x3 x4 up to xn right hand side of the production is a string of n variables right so what will we have to do we have to add n minus 2 new variables in set p like these variables are y1 y2 y3 up to y n minus 2 now what will we do we will replace this production a derives x1 x2 x3 x4 up to xn by these number these productions we will replace this production by these productions a derives x1 y1 y1 derives x2 y2 y2 derives x3 y3 so on up to y n minus 1 and the production for variable y n minus 2 will be y n minus 2 derives x n minus 1 and x n now see it would be clear after this example now see this production as derives a b c d now this production is not in chomsky normal form now right hand side of this production has four variables so what will we have to do we will add two new variables in set v of uh, this grammar right so we will add two new variables x1 and x2 to the set of variables v 
and replace this production rule by these production rules as derives a x1 x1 derives b x2 and x2 derives c d right so we will replace this production from grammar g by these three productions now see these three productions are in chomsky normal form now see suppose there is a grammar whose productions are these one now we have to convert this grammar into chomsky normal form right that that grammar is uh, g which is defined by quadruple v t p s where v is the set of variables t is the set of terminals p is the set of productions and s is the start symbol now we have to convert this grammar g into cnf this grammar g see its productions they don't have any empty production so first of all what we have to do since it doesn't have any empty production it can be transformed into cnf right we can uh, convert it into cnf without affecting its language so first of all what will we have to do we will have to remove unit productions now there is no unit production in this grammar g now again check for the productions which are not in cnf now see this production as derives aa and as derives bb it is not in cnf so what will we do see in this production as derives a a we will replace this terminal a by variable x a this terminal uh, in this production as derives b b right in this production we will replace this terminal b by variable x b right and we will add two new productions x a derives a x b derives b right and we will remove this production from the grammar g now in place of uh, this production we will have three products these uh, four productions in grammar g in place of these two productions as derives a a as derives b b right because we have replaced these two productions by these four productions right and what else we will have to do we will have to add these two variables x a and x b to the set v of grammar g now now see this production a derives A. This production is in CNF, but this production A derives A A A. It is not in Chomsky normal form. So what will we do? We will replace this terminal by the variable X A, right? And the production X A derives A is already in grammar G. So this production a derives a a a will be removed and we will have a production a derives x a a a in grammar g now see this production b derives b it is in cnf so it will remain as it is but this production b derives b b b it is not in chomsky normal form so this terminal b will be replaced by the variable x b now in grammar g there is already a production x b derives b right so this production will be removed b derives b b b will be removed from grammar g 
in place of that we will have a production b derives x b p p in grammar g now see these productions this production is in grammar is in cnf this production is also in cnf this production is also in cnf this is also in cnf it drives a this is also in cnf but this is not in cnf this is in cnf and this is also not in cnf so these two productions are not in cnf now we have to convert them into cnf now see this production a derives x a a a right hand side of this production is a string of three variables so we will add a new variable y1 to set v of grammar g and this production will be replaced by these two productions a derives x a y1 and y1 derives a a right and this production will be removed from grammar g and uh, these two new productions will be added to grammar g and this variable y1 will be added to set v of grammar g now see this production b derives now see this production b derives x b b b it is not in chomsky normal form because right hand side of this production is a string of three variables so we will introduce or we uh, we will add a new variable y2 to set v of grammar g right and we will replace this production b derives x b b b by two productions b derives x b y2 and y2 derives b b this production will be removed from grammar g in place of that we will have two productions right so after this third step right all productions in grammar g will be in chomsky normal form thank you very much